What's up, you guys? It's Susie from HeyGrillHey.com, and today I'm back with another awesome recipe. We're making my jacked up smoked meatloaf. This guy has over 35 star reviews on the website. It went a little bit viral on Facebook, so I wanted to show you guys how to do it start to finish. I can't wait. Let's get started. Let's kick off construction of our jacked up smoked meat loaf by making the meatloaf mixture itself. So we're gonna start with two pounds of ground beef. My local grocery store was carrying Snake River Farms, so of course I grabbed some of that. This is beautiful Wagyu ground beef. You do want a higher fat content here for your meatloaf. I would say at least 85-15. You could push up to 80-20 and it would make it super delicious. Bloop. Now we gotta add all of the goodies into our meatloaf mixture. We're gonna start with a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, a half of red onion that is grated. That means I took the half of the red onion and I ran it across my cheese grater. You could also do a fine mince here, but I like the grater because it gives me such thin pieces of onion, they'll almost disappear into the meatloaf. Two eggs that have been lightly beaten. This will be a binder and also some really nice moisture in the meatloaf. Two cloves of minced garlic. A quarter cup of milk, again for moisture. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons of Jack Daniels. And people have criticized this step and be like, oh, two tablespoons isn't enough to get the flavor. It is, we're really just going for an essence in the meatloaf and then a lot more of this is going into the sauce on top. You also need two tablespoons of your favorite steak or beef seasoning. I'm using my signature beef seasoning because there's all the goodness that I want in there. This will take care of the salt, the pepper, all of that. Now we gotta get mixy. I'm just gonna pop on some gloves and combine all of the ingredients. We want to do this very, very gently. Over mixing and overworking your meatloaf will make it tough and chewy. We really want this to be moist and tender. So incorporating all of the ingredients, but not mixing it too much. happy with this it's time to assemble I have a nice flat grill pan here with holes on the bottom this is gonna be important to add smoke all the way around the meatloaf but also let some of the excess you know cooking liquid drip away from the meatloaf as it cooks so you're just gonna take half of your meatloaf mixture here and place it along the bottom of this grill pan Now this is just creating the base of our meatloaf. The Jack Daniels isn't the only thing that makes this a jacked up meatloaf. We're also gonna be stuffing it with pepper jack cheese. So it brings a little bit of heat. So we're just creating the cheese basin out of meatloaf <laughs> right now. I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna take six ounces of pepper jack cheese that I've kind of cut into strips here, and I'm just gonna layer that into the base of this meatloaf. That looks fantastic. It's time to top the cheese with the remaining meatloaf mixture. <clears throat> what you really wanna make sure of here is that you seal the edges very tightly. You don't want any holes because we wanna keep all of this cheese inside the meatloaf. We want as little explosions of cheese around the edges as possible. You're probably still gonna have some, even if it's sealed perfectly, but we'll do our best. Looks like a meatloaf. I am happy with this. Hopefully, 
we won't have any cheese explosions. Next, we need to make our sauce that's going on top of our meatloaf. This is going to really reinforce all the flavors that we put inside of the meatloaf mixture itself. So in a small bowl, we're gonna add a half a cup of ketchup, a third of a cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of red pepper flakes. Remember we have the pepper flakes that are in the pepper jack cheese inside of the meatloaf. So we're gonna have that same little kiss of heat on top and then the Jack Daniels. And we're gonna be using a quarter a cup of Jack Daniels whiskey. Of course, you can always use your favorite whiskey, um, but I think Jack Daniels is a good option here because it's affordable and a lot of the alcohol is gonna be cooking out. This is mostly for flavor. Whisk that together, give us a nice saucy, glazy consistency. Now, this sauce is going to go directly on top of the meatloaf, yes, before we cook it. There is a lot of moisture in the sauce and the sauce itself is actually going to take on a lot of smoke flavor. You'll also notice it's a little bit thin. That time on the smoker is going to tighten up this sauce. It's going to cook it into the meatloaf and it will be beautiful. Our meatloaf is prepped. It's time to smoke. This is going on to a preheated smoker. 225 degrees. I think hickory and oak are both amazing options for this meatloaf. And it's going to take about four hours to cook, which sounds like a really long time, but it's going to stay very moist. It's going to stay very juicy and it's going to get a lot of smoke flavor infused into that ground beef. Four hours is a long time for me to wait, but it's going to be fine. <laughs> So four hours is the recommended time, but of course we love to go by temperature here. So we're gonna be cooking this meatloaf to an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Meatloaf has been on for four hours. It is time to check the temperature and most importantly, to look at the beautiful color that we've gotten on the outside of this meatloaf. I can't wait to show you guys. We did have a little bit of cheese spillage, but not a ton. I'm not super worried about it. I know there's still gonna be a ton of cheese inside. And now we have to wait. We gotta give this a good 10 to 15 minutes before we try and move it off of our grill pan onto our cutting board so that cheese can kind of stop being total molten lava and the meatloaf can tighten up just a little bit. Now, technically you could just leave this in the pan, but I want to get that like beautiful cheese pull slice. So I'm going to move mine onto a cutting board. Delicately. Delicate. Gentle. Our meatloaf has rested. It's time to slice it open so you guys can take a look at the inside. I mean, I wish you could smell this. It smells absolutely phenomenal. I can't wait to try a bite. It is a really moist, I know we hate that word, but it is such a juicy and tender meatloaf. It's savory, it's got a kiss of sweetness. Definitely get the heat from the red pepper flakes, the pepper jack cheese, just a kiss of Jack Daniels, and then the creaminess comes through. That is indulgent, it is delectable, it is smoky, it is delicious, and if you make it at home, your friends are going to love you as simple as that. I hope you give it a try. When you do, snap a photo, take a quick video, post it online, use the hashtag HeyGrillHate. That way I can see it and cheer you on on your journey to becoming a backyard barbecue hero. See you next time.